G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today, we're gonna to be talking about sugar daddies. Is it a good deal? What do you get out of it? Is it worth the cost? Uh, we have the Silver Bachelor here, and I have the original video link in the video uh, description for you to go and check him out. There are five reasons why you should consider being a sugar daddy. And man, you've heard this term before, but I wonder, and I wanna hear from you in the comments, if you've been a sugar daddy before, if you are a sugar daddy, uh, let's have that conversation. But in this video, I'm going to go over the five reasons why you should consider being a sugar daddy because it's not what you probably think. So watch this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to get into those five things. But most importantly, I'm going to get into what does it cost to have a sugar baby? Like per date, if you want to sleep with her or just have a sugar baby that's in or around and you're kind of dating. All right, I'm going to go. Probably cheaper than having a, a living girlfriend or wife. I could probably tell you that much. Over those specific numbers as well. So stick around, watch the video. All right, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right. Woo, sugar daddy, sugar babies. Look, full confession. I've been a sugar daddy before. And I will say this, I do like to help people out when I'm dating someone, right? In fact, I had a conversation recently with someone and we were talking about, you know, um, doing a- Oh, he might, he, he might have lost me already, guys. Let's see how we go. Partnership together with this channel and he's got a bunch of businesses and he's a very successful guy. And one of the things he was talking about to me was, well, when he starts to date someone, He's more than happy to help her out. In fact, he said this, if he really likes her, he wouldn't even have a problem covering her rent. And guess what? No. He lives in Florida, right? That rent is going to be at least two grand. Okay. And he just, he said that to me. He said, I'd have no problem covering her rent if that's what she needed or help with groceries, help with the car payment and all these things. So the question... <laughs> I guess we're always paying guys, but even I think a lot of guys who do become wealthy, especially later in life, might lose a bit of perspective on, on how hard it was to earn that money and giving somebody else a free ride just for them to hang out with you. Like I think, and this is my own personal perspective and opinion. I'm sure there are other guys who may be guys who have uh, been sugar daddies, but it's just, uh, I don't think it's going to be for me. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do it regardless of how much money um, I would have, I wouldn't be able to justify giving someone else a free ride off my hard work. The question is, is he a sugar daddy? Is he not a sugar daddy? So the lines get a little blurred, right? He's a sugar daddy. But at the end of the day, some might consider him a sugar daddy because he's helping her financially. But there's layers to this, and I'm not going to go into the definitions and all these things. I really want to focus on... He's not helping her financially, he's uh, being used. So she's got him under some sort of spell and he thinks he should help her because she knows how to play the game with him. Five reasons why you should consider being a sugar daddy. And most importantly, if you stick to the end, I'm going to go into the financials. How much does it cost to have a sugar baby around, right? And the 2000 is just one thing you could do to help someone out. But let's just get into this video. Okay, so made a whole bunch of notes. So bear with me, just looking at this here. All right, but first, before I get into the five things, how much does a typical date cost? But most importantly, how many dates, and I want to hear from you in the comments, how many dates does it take you to have sex with a woman on average, right? Some guys might say, well, I always have sex on the first date. I don't believe that. Um, <laughs> other guys might say, well, it takes an average of three dates, another guy five dates, another guy more. So just look, understand the numbers here. Going out on dates is not cheap, typically. Even if you go out for happy hour and you have some drinks or whatever, and have, everything's been discounted, the food and the drinks, you're still going to be paying anywhere from 75 bucks to 150 bucks for that first date, right? If you're doing dinner and drinks. No, you're not, mate. You just catch up for a coffee and a walk, do something like that, because it doesn't matter what you're paying. If they like you, they like you. And I saw a lot of these guys don't um, understand or try and 
um, rationalize spending a whole bunch of money because that's what you need to do. And then he's going to do this whole business case that, you know, $75 to 150 a date. But, you know, for me to get a sugar baby to come and suck me off, which is basically a, a hooker, right? I don't care. Play, say you can try and play it any way you want. A sugar baby is a hooker, okay? Um, or an escort, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to pay 500 bucks for her to come and suck you off and then fuck off whenever you want. So it works out the same or it's a bit cheaper or whatever. I see the logic here. Like, within a few, within five dates, in order to for you to end up sleeping with somebody, if let's say that's your goal, well, at the end of the day, that's what every man wants to do when he's date try, going out on dates with somebody he finds very attractive. So add up the numbers, right? Each date's going to cost you, let's say, at least a hundred bucks. Well, after five dates of doing different things, buying tickets to this game, do whatever, whatever, you're. Five dates later, you've spent probably at least five hundred dollars, even if you're ordering takeout, right? If you're an idiot, if you, no idiot's the wrong word. If you're the uninitiated or inexperienced, yes, you will do things like this because you've been taught to think that the more you spend and the more bigger gestures you do with women, that equates to them liking or loving you, which is couldn't be any further from the truth. It actually, makes you turn out to almost basically be if you're doing that and not getting much in return for five dates. You're basically an unofficial sugar daddy. You're staying in for the night. You're, you've got some wine. You're, bringing, you're buying some food, some pizza or something like this. Like just calculate those numbers. And at the end of the day, you're probably going to spend about 500 bucks, right? Over the course of five dates. So here are the five reasons to consider being a sugar daddy. And like I said, stay to the end. And I'm going to go over the numbers specifically. So reason number one is you're newly single and you're lonely. Well, there are some sugar baby websites out there. Let me know in the comments if you want to know what that or those sites are, <clears throat> are, and I'll drop some links. So it's easier to meet someone in a sugar baby situation because there's a financial benefit. And this is crazy, yeah. man. Women will jump through hoops for a hundred bucks. <laughs> Hundred bucks, bucks, whatever it is, fifty bucks, right? Like this is a dirty old Brycey, this bloke. I love it. <laughs> I think any of he's proud of himself here. So I remember one time I was uh, when I was in Canada and I DJ for fun. And one time I reached out to this woman that I connected with on Instagram and I said, "Hey, look, um, I really, I really like your outfits, and you've got this kind of." goth vibe i will pay you a hundred bucks for two hours to come and dance in my video when i'm recording myself djing i want you to be in the background dancing and she was all over that and that's been my experience with sugar babies is especially if you just want to get together platonically oh i don't know man well wow he works at the women like money i mean all women like money and that's why they demand it when dating. Like you get these types that um that are very overly entitled. Do you want to know the reason why they aren't afraid or ashamed of being entitled um, and potentially off-putting guys? Number one, they've got a heap of uh, options. Number two, they don't give a fuck about you. They just see you as a money pig, a pay pig um, who's going to pay for shit. And if you don't do it, some other dickhead will. That's it. So guy, this, this video should be called Guy Discovers That Women Like Money. A majority of women like money. I'm not going to say all. They will not cancel dates. They will show up because it's a financial benefit. And mm -hmm. that's ultimately what women are looking for. They're looking for financial assistance, especially under the age of 30. All right. So women under the age of 30, typically they're trying to get their career going. They're still in school. Of course, they're hot and they're young, but they need money more than anything else because guys are a dime a dozen. They can sleep with anyone they want. But how many guys are going to give them money? So that's number one is you're newly single and lonely. Number two is maybe you have low self-esteem and you're shy. Like you, you have a hard time meeting women organically and dating apps are kind of a bust. So that's another reason you could consider being a sugar daddy is you have low. Yeah, I know. Okay. But like, how do you get better? How do you uh, improve, um, get a more confident? I don't think paying for escorts is going to make you any more confident. If anything, it's going to put you into a spiral that you have to keep paying for escorts. So they end up spending a heap of money and getting addicted to these sugar baby websites. I've never understood men that spend money um, 
on women, and I'm not judging. I know guys do it, and that's fine. I mean, it should, if it's a straight up hookup, I get that, right? It's straight up transaction, bang, 200 bucks, 150 bucks, whatever it is, you're in and out, 30 minutes, whatever. But I'm talking about spending money on these sort of faux relationships, um, only cans, uh, this, um, uh, what do you call it? Sugar baby stuff. Sugar baby is just another word for escort that's going to try and not put out. Self-esteem. Number three, you want to have sex now, right? I love these dog videos where like the owners are dressed up like the looks like the dog has hands and they're eating food and stuff like that. And so when I just did that, you want to have sex now, like, right? So the, in the dog- Oh, let's go keep going in a sec. So guys, about halfway through the video, uh, if you're enjoying the content, aiming for 10K subscribers. So if you could please subscribe, that really helps me out. And another way to really support the channel, guys, is to watch my videos through to the end and engage, like all that sort of shit that every other YouTuber says, because it works and that's what YouTube will push me out uh, using. And if you do want to support further, guys, check out my Patreon uh, in the video description. Cheers. Videos of dogs like demanding food right now. <laughs> Anyways, so you want to have sex now. There, okay. On these sites, there are sugar babies that are also slash escorts, and they will get up. They will hook the up with you thing. for the right amount of money, and I will go into those numbers in a moment. So number four is you prefer being single. You don't want to go out on dates, or you're tired of kind of traditional dating. You're tired of having a traditional relationship. And you just want to engage with somebody when you've got the time and you just want to get it on or you don't want to mess around with beating around the bush and and having dates cancel on you and everything else and all the drama that comes in with traditional dating it's just a fast track right and i get it so fully um endorse it with this point but don't say sugar babies is not escorting so if you want to go and as I said, get a route, get one, get you know, get a load out, go down to the local hookers down in Dandenong or wherever you where you live, bloody Blacktown, like in Campsie, right, wherever you are, Logan. I have no issue with that. Good. But don't go on saying that sugar babies aren't hookers, because they are. He's just blatantly said it. And it's very transactional in the sense, but it can also be good. Thing where you agree, okay, I'm going to pay you this much money and you're going to show up on Friday. We're going to go out for a few hours. We're going to have a good time and that's it. So number five, it gives you more options, right? When you have the financial means. So this is the key thing. This is the wild, wild thing. You're paying for it. When you have the financial means to be a sugar daddy, your options just explode with women. <laughs> yeah, of course. Young, hot, attractive women, the options are off the charts, right? Because now you can pay for it and you don't need a relationship. You don't need to go through all the hoops and being on dating apps. You can just boom, boom, boom. And some people might look down on that, but does it really matter? I mean, <laughs> there's people look down on women that just hook up with some guy, this DJ, like what's the difference? So the bottom line is if you uh, not a great argument. Uh, that woman didn't pay the dude. Um, but, you know, while guys, I might be coming across as pretty opinionated about this topic, I think I think the real point I'm trying to get is, is I don't support men, lonely men um, especially, being used up for their money. I think that's the point I'm trying to get here. And so then you get people trying to frame sugar babies um, as not hookers. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. But let's just say what it is. They, they're never going to go out with you. They're never going to date you. They're never going to see you or pay any attention to you unless you give them some money. So you may as well date normal women and give them money because <laughs> I'll root you as well. Like it's, um, it's an interesting place the world is at. I can understand why potentially older guys do it. He did make some good points. Like it is annoying dating. So you tell them you might have the money. You just can't be fucked. Um, you know, monster hunting, going through the trials and tribulations, getting flaked on, you know, last second when you're about to get there. You got to fully charge a boner, all right? And you just want to release it somewhere. You got to just spray that goo everywhere. But, but guys, it's just a personal thing and I'm not trying to offend anyone uh, who might do this. I just can't see how it's beneficial for you, even mentally, um, to know 
if you have a sugar baby range, I'm not talking about hookers, once off, bang, bang, you spend your 100, 200. I get that. I get it. All right? I'm talking about guys who, you know, get sucked in to having a woman care for them. Because that's what these sugar babies do. Hooks in, lonely guy, give him the full girlfriend experience. The guy starts feeling something for them. He knows he's paying, but then he thinks, maybe she loves me. Maybe she likes me. Okay? That's what I don't support because that's essentially what happens here. And these women get right in and, you know, pull out the money out of this dude, right? Poor bastard. He thought he was just taking a little bit of a shortcut, but he gets encroached so deep. The hooks are in that deep. He's emotionally invested. That's what I don't support. So guys, go pay your 50, 100 bucks for your your wristy down at the local um, Thai, Thai, um, the Thai girl massage place or the Chinese massage. You know, get your happy ending, whatever it is. Get your blow job, get your anal for 200 bucks down and down in on. I couldn't give a fuck. Good on you. I understand that. What I don't like, I'm going to say one more time, men getting sucked in and used emotionally for money because that this is what this can lead to. If you're not, you know, if you can't regulate yourself and your emotions and understand what this is. Gives you more options. All right. So now the numbers, the numbers, my Let's favorite go. part. I love numbers. Okay. How much do sugar babies cost? So and thanks for sticking around, man. So I'm going to get into that right now. How much does sugar babies cost? All right. If you want to go out on a date with a sugar baby, the average amount that she's expecting to hang out with you for a few hours, two to four hours, is about 200 bucks. So it's up to you what you do. If you just want to go to a movie, you want to go out for some cocktails. Yes, you also have to pay for that. By the way, excuse me for the sirens because I live on this really busy street. But I used to record these videos and re redo the videos after the sirens. So... Anyways, I hope the siren passes, but <laughs> so $200 is the average amount to get together with her on a date. And yes, you are expected to pay for these other things, right? You could negotiate less depending on how far she is. You're also getting Ubers and everything else, but at least bare, bare minimum a hundred bucks. But typically on average is about 200 bucks for a meet and greet and it's platonic, right? Why would you do so, that? Why would you do how that? much does it cost to sleep with one of these sugar babies. This is what I'm, what I mean by this is it's basically escort service where they're going to come over for however long you negotiate and you're going to get it on. That's going to be anywhere from two, excuse me, 350 to $500. Now it depends on the city, but in general, the cities that I've been in, if this was something I've been interested in, which I'm not because I've had women on these sites say, Hey, look for 350, I'll come over and spend the night. Or for $500, I'll come over and spend a night. So I'm like, I don't fucking want you there the whole night. Bust the load and get the fuck out. I couldn't think of anything worse than having a chick come around. You're paying them to suck you off, do anal, double backflips on your cock. And then they want to stay the night after you've blown your load. No, get the fuck out. That's what you're paying them for. Stay the night. Fuck that. 500 bucks though, guys. And and what's this? Um, US. So say it's $750 um, US. I don't know what the Canadian exchange rate is. Who you said he was in Canada. But still, it's fucking more than that, isn't it? So, would do, would you go and pay? I reckon five hundred is probably on the cheaper side for a young hot chick. Would you pay five hundred bucks for a route? Okay, so eventually, I heard this enough. So it's three fifty to five hundred dollars to have sex. Now, to have an ongoing situation with a sugar baby where you're Warning seeing bells. her each week Warning bells. you're basically kind of monogamous it's just her and you've got this person kind of around no. and you're seeing each other once or twice a week basically is anywhere from a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars per month there are a lot of women that will just date you exclusively because bullshit dude this guy's naive man he's got a dating channel you honestly going to believe what a woman says to you? They're dating you exclusively. How do you validate that? Bullshit. They're running this scam on so many fucking guys. Like, wake up. I mean, you know, this guy says he's a dating coach. He like, he's, he's sort of losing me here. I thought he was pretty funny and stuff. But are you that naive to think that they're going to be exclusive with you? Come on. They're hookers they know they're you're helping them out with that amount of money yes some sugar babies want more than that fine but i'm saying i'm trying to give you averages and, and based on my experience 
of what it would take for me to date or you know, have a sugar baby that's young, that's hot, and what her financial expectations would be per month. So hope you like this video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and I do. Hey, go check it out, guys. And as I said, my, my, my commentary videos, I'm not critiquing this man personally. It's just the messaging. I'm trying to think it from the perspective um, of somebody who would know nothing about this stuff. But also thinking of the dangers for men who partake in this um, line of entertainment. I don't know what you want to call it. Because this is the dangers that I can see with this. And I've seen it. You hear about it. Guys on um, OnlyCans, they get hooked on the girls there and they're spending thousands of their, all their money getting drained out or some Ukrainian girl overseas. How is this any, any different? Okay, it's just that they're local. So if you think you can do it and not get attached to someone, hey, man, it's up to you. It's your money and your life. Do whatever you want. I'm just a guy on the internet. But I think you're better off just going and rooting some, um, you know, some little sluzzer down and down in on. Just get one out, knock one out. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, as I said, it's a learning experience for me, especially around sugar daddy stuff. I know nothing about it. So I'm actually reviewing it from someone who's never done it or knows anything about it. But this is my first impressions and my genuine thoughts on it. Thank you.